So now we are in the low light experience zone for the ESR. The ESR allows us to focus down to minus 6 EV. And just to give you an idea of how dark minus 6 EV is, because it just sounds like a number, it takes around a minute for the human eye to actually be able to adjust enough to discern objects so that you don't bump into them at minus 6 EV. But with the ESR, it's kind of like having colour night vision goggles. Uh, somebody like Daniel Etter, one of our ambassadors who shot with ESR, down in a, a working mine where previously he would have had to essentially manual focus and hope that the shots came out, was able to come out with keeper after keeper, professional shot after professional shot, combining the high ISO performance of ESR with the incredible low light autofocus. I've got some of my favourite images of the entire launch. See here the combination of our CMOS uh, sensor with dual pixel CMOS AF, our brand new Digic 8 processor, and uh, all of that new communication that is made possible with uh, the new mount and the new system gives us that minus six. So, as you see here, somebody is having a demonstration of low light. In order to actually be able to demonstrate minus six EV, we have to block off uh, all of the show lights to the point where. Even the camera in this medium amount of light is starting to struggle with, uh, uh, with image quality. The autofocus, have you camera eingestellt, that it's now on the point of view? I'll give you the middle rein. You'll see just how it's in all these different factors. So that is the low light example and I would like now to take a minute just to show you around some of the other exciting things we've got on the camera today.